One last major topic I want to cover is the automated super elevation method or the all in one method. Um, way back in the beginning, when we were looking at the rules file. There's a portion of the dialog box here that listed some design parameters and it said creation by corridor settings optional. Okay, now what this allows you to do is that it allows you to create and assign super elevation basically all in one step to your corridor. So you don't have to create a whole super elevation uh, um, section and lanes manually. It's kind of like a, an automatic approach, I guess you would say, right? So you could set your Emacs, you know, set your design criteria here, and then select your corridor and it'll just go in there and build all your lanes and everything and it'll apply it to the corridor, but it's gonna do it all in one file. Okay, so everything would have to be in one file. Okay, but it's, it's kind of a cool approach. Um, so I wanna, I wanna demonstrate that real quickly here. So we're gonna do it for one of the ramps. So I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna go over to the, uh, the ramp corridor file. So we're gonna be working in the corridor now. So we'll go over to corridor for ramp C. All right, so here's our ramp C corridor. You can see here in 3D, we have it already set up, ready to go. We got our cross section here, we got a 2D plan view over here. Well, typically ramps have multiple design speeds and that's our exact situation here. We have multiple design speeds on this particular ramp. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to address that as well as how to utilize this automated approach for uh, super elevation calculation. So, I'm going to go back to my rules file here, and we want to set up the default design speed for this case. So let me go and load this guy up, make sure I'm using the right one just for sanity purposes here. Okay, so I want to set my corridor, creation by corridor settings. I want to set this to 6%. I'm going to use the Ashto method for my runoff length. I want to set my pivot method to be right edge because now we're doing a, a ramp. So we want it to pivot a, about the right edge here. And I want to set my design speed to 45 miles an hour. Okay. So this is going to be my design parameters that I'm going to use for my ramp initially. Okay. There are multiple design speeds on this ramp, and I'm going to show you how we can deal with that in a little bit. So I'm going to close this real quick. And then we're going to go and launch the create super elevation section tool again. So let's go up to create super elevation sections. Okay, and for, so for the name, I'm gonna call this ramp C. And then I'm gonna locate the corridor this time. So notice the difference here. When I was creating super elevation sections previously, we were selecting the alignment and creating it along the alignment. Well, now we're gonna do it with a corridor. Okay, so this is the big difference. It's like when you select the corridor, it's going to be able to create super elevation section, the lanes. It's going to calculate the transitions. It's going to create all that automatically for you, and it's going to assign it to the corridor, and everything's going to be up to date, right? So you, you skip a, a lot of steps. It makes it a lot quicker in some ways, right? So look at right off the bat, it enters already all the super elevation information that you saw in the rules file. So here's my rules file. Here's the information that I entered. So it's going to use all that. And I'm just going to click through the prompts here. When I get to minimum tangent length between curves, I'm going to set that to zero because we do have multiple design speeds on this ramp. So we want it to create two separate uh, super elevation sections in this case, not one big long one. Um, we want to be able to vary our design speeds between each curve. So I'm going to set that to zero. It's going to go through and do some processing. It's going to create the section. It's going to create the lanes. It's going to do the calculations and it's going to assign it to the corridor and then you're going to see boom look at the cross-sectional view pavement rotated up it assigned the point control and it also did the super elevation okay now if we come over here in the plan view you're going to see we do have two separate super elevation sections here and that's important because that's going to be where you define the different design speeds for your curve uh, for your curves on the alignment okay so initially the first curve we had set I think at 45 miles an hour, which is fine for you know the first exiting curve off of the main lines. That one's set for 45. 
But if we take a look at the second one, second super elevation section here, that one's also going to be set for 45, but we don't want that, right? We want that one to maybe be 10 miles an hour less. Generally, it's usually going to be a little bit slower speed a lot of times. So we're coming to a stop condition. So I'm going to set this one to 35. That'll recompute my super elevation calculations and my transitions there for us. Okay, so it makes the adjustment there. So this one's been set up for 35 miles an hour. That one's set up for 45, and we are uh, we are good to go. So now at this point, we can go and review our super elevation report for each one of our sections just to uh, review our calculations and make sure everything's working properly. So once again, I'm going to select my super elevation report tool here. And we'll go into the calculation section here. So you can see that, you know, it is indeed using 45 mile an hour design speed, our pivot methods and our other design criteria. Then here's all the different calculations that it's doing for that particular section. We come over to the other one. I can review that one real quickly as well. In the report. And again, you can see the different design speed there and then the other design parameters and the super elevation information. So uh, that's pretty much the, the big things that I wanted to show. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.